it, it's a lovely story how I got to meet Betty Driver. It's one of those things that happen in life that you do not expect to happen. And really it goes back to growing up watching Coronation Street and being a big fan of the programme when I was a kid and growing up and being aware of her existence in the programme. And that's really all I knew until I started reading up on the actors in Coronation Street and their lives and realising that she'd had this big career as a singer and an actress long before she became involved um, with the Rovers' return and making Hot Pot. But it wasn't until the 1990s when I was working with a, an independent radio company called Ladbrook Radio and they were putting forward programme ideas to Radio 2 that I came up with the idea for Betty's anniversary in the programme. BBC Radio 2 snapped it up. So it meant going to Manchester. So I went up with this producer, first of all, to interview me, interview Betty and her sister Frida in a little radio studio up there that they booked for the, for, the, for the morning. And then the producer and I were to go to Granada Television to interview some of the cast members who were f close friends of hers um, about her, like William Roach, Ken Barlow and Judy Goodyear at Lynch. So we were then to go in the afternoon, after lunch. So we, we, we arrived at this studio and came face to face with Betty and Frida, and I'm very, very nervous. But Betty couldn't have been more down to earth. She was exactly as she was on television. In, in Coronation Street, down to earth, lovely, warm, friendly. It was one of the most memorable days because I loved Coronation Street all those years and to suddenly come face to face with actors that were in it and being in the studio was for me magical. But what was lovely doing the research for the Betty Driver story as, it, as we called the radio tribute the, the t Coronation Street archivist sent me the This Is Your Life tape. I hadn't seen it. I don't recall seeing it on its original transmission. I think it was 1976. Um, so to me, to watch that all those years, about almost 20 years later, w was also a thrill, and to have a tape of it. Um, and what I liked about it was the fact that it did, in those days, cram lots of people in. So... It, in 25 minutes, I mean, they did a fantastic job of bringing lots and lots and lots of people in. But it was it was very useful research uh, material. I love the bit at the beginning when he, Eamon's dressed up as the news vendor and he captures her um, at, at the station with Frida. And Frida, you see, is in, in the background. She's, she's not pushy, but she's there, like gently manoeuvring Betty into this situation. And then you get the cast of Coronation Street, who Betty thinks are still up in Manchester. And they've all come down en masse, which is a great tribute to her, because they must have been, even in those days, on a busy schedule. Like Jack Howarth, lovely, lovely man. He's very warm towards her. And the younger members of the cast, like um, Helen Worth, Gail. It, it's great to see that old and young generation. And I know that, that obviously with the Coronation Street cast, she, she relates to them. But then when they dig back into her past, they do tend to bring people on. Like the, the woman, I can't remember her name, who played her mother in one of the films. And she was some dreadful musical entertainer that, um, forgotten but not gone, you know. It, and then they wheel her on. And she tries to take over and take centre stage. It's obvious um, that Betty at that point feels very uncomfortable, but is putting on a show because you know she's on camera. It's being filmed, and she mentions that in her in her autobiography um, that it made her feel uncomfortable because it's difficult for her being down to earth and honest to put on an act. But then it's all happening so fast that you just get carried away with it. And I, but I think she carried it off brilliantly. And there were some lovely tributes, and, for, and then that strange man comes on at the end with the dyed black hair. But it's a great programme as a kind of snapshot of her life as it was at that time. A little bit about her background, um, glosses over, obviously, the, the, the trauma she had with the mother.
And This Is Your Life is one of the rare times you see Betty as herself on television. Because all those years we see her every week in Coronation Street. And she's um, a character. But in This Is Your Life you see the real Betty. And there's no indication that she'd had this sad and unhappy childhood and teenage years um, that led, led to, 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 to a lot of upset in her life because of the mother. But she's already a fixation in the street and greatly loved as, as part of that Coronation Street family. So it's, it's great that, that that has survived in the archive, yeah.